it's Dave Roger. I've been making these uh, time-lapse videos and people have asked a lot of questions so I thought I'd do some full or real-time video going through the whole process of carving a spoon. So I'm going to start with a piece of sycamore. This is a piece of branch. I'm crouched here to fit in the frame. And for an eating spoon, this is about as small as I can use. It's three fingers width. Now most of my spoons uh, for eating spoons are about two and a half fingers wide. And um, you're always going to get a spoon that's narrower than your piece of wood. Lengthwise, my spoons are that long. I don't really measure. Um, that is actually about 17 centimetres. Seven inches. Um, so, cut yourself a piece of wood. <clears throat> and then the first thing we do is lose the middle. Uh, we split and throw away or cut away some of the pith because that's where the cracks run from. So I'm just looking, this is a pretty straight piece of wood, so I could really go any way in this. Um, if it had a curve in it, I'd consider splitting it in a way to take the best advantage of the curve. But since there isn't really one, I'm just going to go there. And um, when you're splitting, knock it in gently, then turn the axe to the side before you hit it hard. <clears throat> Reason for that is... You see it went through quite quickly. If it was coming this way, 